It ain't the mama. And I'm going to tell you why it ain't her mama. It ain't her mama because her mama told me that when she move, if she don't get her apartment in April 1st, that her and her girls are to move down. Her mother distinctively told me. I'm not taking care of no kids. Now, Jesse could come home and she could have all the resources that she needs. I've been telling her to come home. She could come home and have all the resources she needs to get on her feet and do what she got to do. But I don't, I don't, I don't see her mother lives in Texas. Her mother's almost 60. I don't see her mother driving 20 hours to come pick up no kids. I don't see it. She didn't drive 20 hours just to come visit these kids, even meet Ozian properly. I don't see it. I don't see her mama taking her kids and leaving her behind in a hotel. I don't see it. I don't see it. I know who had. I know Miss Mama's got them. I know she do. Just like I seen that picture on that. Uh, man, I, I, I see everything. I just don't talk and I don't say nothing because that's just not me. I see everything. I see everything. I peep everything. I watch everything. Everything. Miss Mamas is the lady that I had that I had driving Jesse back and forth to work and it didn't work out because they fell out over money. So now you got your kids or her kids is over there. It ain't gonna last long because Jesse, I had the kids and you ain't offer me a dime. So how long do you think Miss Mama's gonna take care of your kids without you giving her a dime? Or you helping or you calling? Because it's about to be shown that you really don't that how exactly how they was with me, you about to see. Well, of course she would be live now because they're in daycare and in school. Tell her to go live at four or five o'clock when they out. I got my own food stamp card, Bev. Now what I did do is I damn sure did re-up. But Jesse had about 600 and some odd dollars on that food stamp card when they hit on the 17th. I spent like two and some change. And then the day she came and got them... I went to go re-up on the juices and I had made some chicken quesadillas that night. So I needed some more uh, some more secret sauce and some extra chicken and stuff. So yeah, I went to the grocery store and filled up what the fuck was taken out. So you damn right I filled up my refrigerator. But I left Jesse with uh I left her with like three hundred and some odd dollars on that food stamp card. And that's on my dead son. And babe, you know me from Facebook. I don't put shit on my dead son unless I'm dead ass serious. I ain't leave that girl without no food. That ain't even my heart. I feed homeless people. Why the fuck would I not feed the children? Like As much as I don't like that girl, I would not leave the children, the mother of my children hungry. That don't make no damn sense. She not doing nothing, Gemini. Like I said, if y'all don't see the fact that she just don't want to be a mama, she just don't want to be a mama. Now, Leo, bug go ahead. What's that mean, bug go ahead? What that mean? Well, Jesse don't know her daddy. That's probably why she trying to keep her. And now, you know, that's the thing that kills me is you ain't have your daddy in your life. Your daddy wasn't around. Your mama took your daddy from you for whatever the reason is. She told you that she took your daddy from you. And here you are taking your kid's daddy away from them because you mad. Boy, when I tell you the apple don't fall too far from the tree, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. And that shit is crazy. I just I just miss them. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, that dream woke me up out of my sleep. I woke up in tears. Yeah, it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. Now, like I could say, I could see if I if I see if I could see if I was like a really bad 
father. Like, if I wasn't a good father, I could understand you doing everything that you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I was a, a, a fucked up father, if I was abusive, if I was... I could see that. You know what I mean? But I'm an excellent father. I'm a great father. I've been around. I've been there. I've been holding them down. I've been loving on them. Kissing them goodnight. Tucking them in at night. Babe, that's what my subconscious is eating me up about. Because not for nothing, truth be told, Miss Mamas has them, number one. I'm going to say that because I remember distinctively how. And this is what people don't realize is that my people talk about security. But security, the number one skill you have to have in security is attention to detail. Okay? You have to have attention to detail because you have to remember what people look like, what they do, where they go, what car they drive, what belongs to who. Attention to detail is the number one thing that you have to have, being a security guard or even law enforcement. Like, I swear to God, I would have been a detective, but I love weed. Anyway, you go... Now, I remember Jesse's mama's house. Now, before Jesse moved up here, her mama been in the same house she's been in since middle school, probably before then. Her mama ain't moved out that house yet. So when Jesse was used to be either live or me and her would FaceTime before she moved to Georgia, I remember how her mother's house looks. And those curtains and that couch is not it. Secondly, those pictures that she posted on Facebook, right? I see the kids. I see what they have on. I see they got a uniform. I see Nikki got on, whatever she got on. It looked like somebody older is dressing them. That's number one. It's definitely an older person because of the way they're dressed and the way their hair is. Definitely an older person. An older person that really doesn't really know how to do hair like that, but they do the best they can. I get that. Then that was my next thing. Did you fucking see the floor? Did you see the motherfucking floor? No. I don't put my money on her mama. I put my money on Miss Mamas. The floor. Did you see the fucking floor? And the only reason I, everybody keeps saying, you was threatening to take them to CPS. Yeah, because they mama don't do right. And even still, what I said just now, right now, Jesse ain't want them kids. Because if she wanted them, they would be in a hotel with her. Because ain't nobody was threatening to, if you came and got them, you came and got them, sis. And the only reason I made her come get them was because I came to you and got them for us to come home to have them for you to get online with Brandon and talk shit like I wasn't the one that came to get them. Tell Miss Mama to show us her living room, and I believe they don't. I, she, it don't. Nah, she got to show me her living room. Show me your living room, sis, and I believe you don't got them. Show me your living room, and I believe you don't got them. Even if it was their grandmother, like for you just to be a parent and a mom, my kids ain't never been there. Well, at least Nikki, Aubrey, and that's that's what makes it easier. Is Aubrey makes it easier for at least Ozzyon. Because Aubrey's older and Aubrey does know her grandmother, if they would her grandmother, she makes it easier for Ozion. You know what I'm saying? However, whoever's house it is, did you see the fucking rug? Also, did you pay attention to their still sleeping on the couch? Did you not see the fucking uh Comforters and pillows on the couch? No, she don't know Miss Mamas. She don't know Miss Mamas no more than she knew Cece. It's disgusting. Hold on.